me now. Hello everybody, my name is Nick Hebley. I'm the inventor of Reptilinks, and we've had an overwhelming demand for videos involving several different topics, all the way from unboxing our product to how to store the product to simple transition feeding techniques all the way to very advanced techniques. It's my aim to start a video blog here. It's going to be progressive, meaning I'm going to start from the very, very basics of when you get your product uh, all the way to some of the, the most advanced feeding techniques with aim to uh, enable you to have the best feeding experience possible with Reptilinks and the product that we make. So I'm just going to go ahead and jump right into this. You can see I've put on my makeup, got a haircut and everything. No, not really. Uh, we're too busy around here for that. But I just want to get you the basic information to start. Uh, and so we're just going to jump right into it and this is going to get more advanced as we go. There will be many series of videos uh, uh, quickly following after this. So I hope you guys enjoy and I hope uh, it doesn't hurt you too much to be looking at this beautiful face. But uh, hey, we'll do our best here. Um, like I said, my name's Nick. Uh, I'm the inventor of Reptilinks. A company made this stuff long before. Uh, I even had the idea to do this. I didn't know they existed. Uh, I completely came up with this on my own accord. And I'll, I'll get into uh, more detail on exactly why I made this product here in just a minute. Um, and uh, I also want to cover some applications very quickly. What type of animals can feed on Reptilinks and all that good stuff. Um, the reason I created this product, well, there's not just one. There's so many, there's a multitude of reasons. Uh, I couldn't possibly cover them all in the scope of this video. So uh, as we do this thing, I would urge you guys to, after you view these, to definitely post and let us know about further subtopics that you would like me to cover. And I'll go into more depth on some of those things. But just a general gist of why uh, I created Reptilinks is that I wanted first of all a more economical way to feed my breeding stock and my collection of animals. Uh, buying rodents all the time became extremely expensive. I was having large amounts of rabbits shipped in uh, which I was paying shipping costs that were just outrageous. Um, so that's one of the first reasons. Um, as I started making prototypes I quickly began to realize that the animals would readily take this stuff, which was one of my main concerns. Um, so once I had that out of the way, I thought, oh my gosh, I can really start honing in and customizing my reptile's diet according to what it needed at that stage in its life, whether it was a neonate, a baby, a, you know, a sub-adult animal or a full-grown animal, uh, depending on what species, uh, depending on if it was in its breeding cycle, if it was uh, you know, need to be fattened up or need to be slimmed down, you name it. There's a, uh, the product enables you to achieve many different nutritional values in the same portion size. So that is what really makes this product absolutely irreplaceable. Um, I would say that's probably the main reason I did it. Um, the reason that we've been so successful with Reptilinks and the reason I have to do these videos now is because people are now seeing the benefits from feeding this diet. The way that we're able to get these kind of wonderful results is that larger animals are broken down and literally there is a ton of work that goes into that. Um, we have animals as large as, you know, very large chickens, very large rabbits, you name it. You know uh, if you've ordered from us all the different prey sources that we offer. It's all broken down, homogenized. It is whole prey, minus um, the frog, the pure frog links that we do and the mixture frog links that we do are made from just frog legs. Everything else includes hair, bone, connective tissue, 
everything. The animals are drowned whole. Um, there is also feces included in there for uh, probiotic, and it is nearly impossible to get it all out even if we wanted to. There is much less if you're to just feed, say, a 10 pound rabbit to a Burmese python or something like that, but there is still a substantial amount in our product, and there is a lot of controversy that goes along with that, and I just want to make it very clear what Reptilinks is. They're whole prey sausages. Um, so the animals are broken down, they're put through a mixing uh, process, and they're literally uh, ground several times uh, to get a very specific consistency, and then they're stuffed into clear uh, collagen edible casings, which are basically benign. They are di digested very quickly, they don't really have any nutritional value to them. So that's basically what our product is. We offer links as small as half a gram for the smallest species of python, for instance, in the world to your baby corn snakes. Um, and we go up to about 100 gram links, which are suitable for uh, some of the larger carpet pythons, even the coastals and some sub-adult larger pythons. Um, plenty big enough for any of your commonly kept uh, varanid species, all your largest monitor lizards, tagus. And, and that sort of thing. So this is a little brief uh, overview of applications. Um, our product can literally be fed to almost all commonly kept species of reptiles in, in the reptile trade right now. Uh, we do lizards everywhere from blue tongued skinks to bearded dragons, tegus, like I said, monitor species. Uh, we have people that feed true chameleons. Uh, especially if they're suffering from metabolic bone, uh, bone disease. And there's just a multitude of applications. Um, I'll probably have to do a separate um, segment on that because there's just a lot to cover there. Um, let's see, what else do we want to cover? I just briefly touched on this. Um, one of the great things about this product as well is that you can decide your fat, your nutritional levels, your protein levels, your calcium levels according to what your goals are at the time for a particular species. That is completely different than say feeding an all rodent diet where rodents generally going to start off very fatty, one, two days old. They don't have super high protein levels. They're deficient in calcium. And so that's really limiting. Um, as you progress through a rodent's uh, life cycle, it's only at the medium stage, say, of a rat where you have a nutritionally balanced uh, diet for your animals. So it's not feasible to feed uh, your animal if it's too small to eat medium rats or if it's larger to feed it a bunch of medium rats. This is not going to happen. Um, so that's what's so amazing about this product. Uh, and essentially what you can do is you can start an animal off much faster. Um, you can get it a denser meal in the same size package and really get it growing quickly. And that's due to some of the larger prey that's broken down into a suitable uh, sample size. Um, so you get a jump start on that. Um, you can feed literally uh, half the gram weight and get the same growth rates at the same frequency. And we'll cover that as well in a later segment. You do not have to feed much of this product. That's what makes it so awesome. We get a lot of people talking about how it's too expensive. You have to take into account that the same gram weight, say if you uh, have a 25 gram weight link, um, that's gonna be equivalent to say an adult mouse. That is literally like having two mice. So you, can, you can't compare apples to oranges in pricing. Anybody that's used the product, they understand how it's made, uh, what it represents, they know that uh, for what we do here, we try to be you know, as cost effective as we absolutely can. And we'll maybe cover that in a later segment as well. Um, you can raise animals quickly and safely. Um, you can prep them for breeding a lot faster than if you're feeding a rodent diet. Um, and that has to do with the caloric intake of the product that we make. Uh, not only that, the animals are able to absorb the nutrients from the lynx much faster as well. So if you have a male, like it's funny, this animal back here, I named him Stud Muffin. 
Uh, he will breed in front of you. He will breed when there's music on. He will eat and breed at the same time. Uh, I don't want to feed this animal a decent sized rat to pump him up to breed because it's going to put him in the shed. It's going to blow him up. And I just want him to stay on girls when he's, you know, ready to breed. I can give him a 25 gram link and he's ready to go for the next two weeks. He won't go into a shed, he'll absorb it, he'll actually digest nearly twice as fast and he's ready to rock and roll again. So this is one of the cool things about the product and one of the main incentives as I started this thing um, and to, to make this available to you guys. Um, so there's a lot of applications, there's so many different things you can do with the product, it's really amazing. Uh, and just to back up, I did start making this product about eight years ago. Uh, I've used it for my collection through that entire time and I've, I've progressively uh, improved the quality of the product that I've made and we've just only recently made it available to you uh, in the past, well, actually we're coming up on two years now. It's amazing what can happen in two years. Um, a lot of people do ask me that, well, how long do you fed your animals this product and how do you know it works? I've dedicated a lot of my life to it. I would not make this stuff available if it didn't work. Um, I'm coming up on eight years now uh, since I've developed the original prototypes. Um, so really just as a recap, uh, as far as applications, different animals go, it's all dependent on what your goals are and what you want to achieve. The sky is the limit, which what you can do with these links. Um, and yes, thank you for watching. We're going to jump into our next segment here, and I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you.